Crookshanks and the Perilous Potion. It was a foggy winter morning at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. The great hall was filled with the sound of eager students, their voices hushed in anticipation of the day's events. The castle was abuzz with whispers and gossip, rumours of a new potion making its way through the dark corners of the wizarding world. Harry Potter, now in his seventh and final year, found himself caught up in the excitement. He had always had a knack for potions, one of the few subjects where he could truly excel. Professor Slughorn had taken a special interest in Harry's skills, often inviting him to exclusive gatherings with influential figures in the magical community. As the last bell rang, Harry made his way to the dungeons, where he would spend the day honing his potion-making skills. He was nearing the entrance when an orange blur rushed past him. It was none other than Hermione Granger's beloved Crookshanks, followed closely by Ron Weasley. Ron, what is it? Where's Crookshanks going? Harry called after them. Ron quickly caught up to his feline friend and scooped him up in his arms. I have no idea, mate. But Crookshanks seems to be on a mission of his own. Harry's curiosity peaked, and he followed Ron back to their shared common room. Hermione was already there, her brows furrowed in confusion. What's going on? Harry asked, leaning against the fireplace. Hermione sighed, glancing between Crookshanks and her friends. I woke up this morning to find Crookshanks acting strangely. He was pawing at my bedside table, as if searching for something. What do you have on your bedside table? Ron asked, his eyes narrowing. Hermione hesitated for a moment before answering. Just a vial of a potion I've been working on. A particularly volatile one, actually. Harry exchanged a worried look with Ron. They all knew that Hermione's potions were notorious for being temperamental, but this felt different. There was something more to all this, something bigger looming on the horizon. Crookshanks must have sensed the danger, Harry said, his voice filled with a sense of urgency. We need to find out what this potion does and why it's so important. Without hesitation, the trio set off on a quest to uncover the secrets behind Hermione's perplexing potion. They spent hours in the library, poring over dusty tomes and ancient scrolls. They asked Professor Slughorn for guidance, who was both intrigued and concerned by their findings. It seems, Professor Slughorn began, stroking his bushy moustache, that this potion has the power to alter reality itself. If it falls into the wrong hands, it could have dire consequences. Harry's scar tingled, a familiar sensation that he had come to associate with the dark arts. If Voldemort were to get his hands on this potion, it would undoubtedly spell disaster for the wizarding world. Determined to protect their newfound knowledge, Harry, Ron, and Hermione devised a plan. They would enlist the help of their fellow Gryffindors and form a secret organization, dedicated to guarding the existence of Hermione's dangerous potion. They named themselves the Order of the Perilous Potion. Under the cover of darkness, the order met in a hidden chamber beneath the Whomping Willow. Each member swore an oath to protect the secret and pledged their allegiance to the safety of Hogwarts and its students. Months passed, and as the trio focused on their preparations for the imminent battle, Hermione's potion became all-consuming. They worked tirelessly to perfect its creation, ensuring that it would be unusable without their specific instructions. As the final weeks of the school year approached, rumours of Voldemort's return spread like wildfire. The Ministry of Magic was in chaos, denying the truth that Harry and his friends had come to accept. The Order of the Perilous Potion became their only hope, a hidden resistance fighting against the darkness that threatened their world. On the eve of the final battle, Harry and his friends stood on the precipice of destiny. The fate of the entire wizarding world lay in their hands but they were not alone. Crookshanks, the brave and intuitive feline, had been by their side every step of the way. His unwavering loyalty and remarkable instincts guided them through the darkest moments. They had come to realize that Crookshanks was more than just a pet. He was a guardian, a symbol of hope in their fight against evil. As the sun rose over Hogwarts, Harry, Ron, Hermione, and Crookshanks stepped onto the battlefield, ready to face the forces of darkness. 
The Order of the Perilous Potion stood united, their hearts filled with determination and their minds focused on the greater good. The battle raged on, spells and curses flying through the air. It was chaos, a dance between life and death. But amidst the turmoil, Harry caught sight of Voldemort, clutching Hermione's potion in his outstretched hand. With a surge of adrenaline, Harry and his friends fought their way towards Voldemort. Spells collided, wand against wand. And in the final moment of desperation, Harry seized the opportunity. He conjured a torrent of wind, knocking the potion from Voldemort's grasp and into the air. Time seemed to slow as Crookshank sprang into action, leaping through the air with uncanny precision. Using his feline agility, he caught the vial mid-flight, letting out a victorious yowl as he landed. The ground shook with a deafening explosion as the potion shattered harmlessly against the castle walls. All at once, the world righted itself the dark magic dissipating into thin air. Voldemort's reign of terror had come to an end. In the aftermath of the battle, Harry, Ron, and Hermione leaned against each other, catching their breath. Crookshanks curled up at their feet, purring contentedly. Their journey was far from over, but in that moment, as Hogwarts stood proudly against the horizon, they knew that hope had prevailed. The perilous potion had been conquered, and the boy who lived had once again triumphed over the forces of darkness. And so, with hearts full of courage and minds set on a future of peace, they continued to fight, for Hogwarts, for the wizarding world, and for the enduring legacy of friendship and love that would forever define their story.